It's great fun running this club, um, mainly because the members are so involved and active and passionate about the sport. I think real tennis is one of those sports where everybody who plays it sort of gets slightly obsessed with it. It's a bit of a Cambridge thing to be obsessed anyway. I am Vix Harvey and I'm the president of the Cambridge University Real Tennis Club. Well, Cambridge colleges all had their own tennis courts um, back in the 16th century. And then during the sort of 17th and 18th centuries, I think they got repurposed as accommodation blocks for students. Uh, this court that you're on here, it's a green court, um, uh, was built in 1866, and the other court, the blue court, was built in 1890. Uh, my name is Case Ludikins, I'm the head pro of the Cambridge University Real Tennis Club. These two courts were built in the second half of the 19th century. Um, they were owned by Trinity and Clare Colleges. In the 1930s, uh, the the other court was converted, the blue court, was converted into squash courts. So we had four squash courts built uh, in that real tennis court. So the squash courts, uh, for quite a, a while before I arrived, um, were in not so good condition. Uh, they suffered from uh, big condensation problems. And um, at that stage we had about 70 members and the job was um, that I had and our committee had was to build the club up and uh, we did get to about 120 members within a couple of years um, and a group of us were able to uh, raise some funds and restore the second court which was quite an achievement. They're very different courts actually. Um, really good players tend to prefer this green court, it has a lot more cut. This is uh, a much loved court. Um, it's a quick court, it's a very true court, so this court is a fantastic away player's court. You can walk on court and be able to play it pretty much straight away. The walls and the corners play very um, intuitively, so um, it's a really brilliant uh, court to play on. It takes, uh, it's got a quick floor, so the ball cuts off the back wall, so you can hit the ball flat and it will cut off the back wall and if you cut it, it will cut more. So it is a really special court. The blue court's a little bit bouncier, makes for a, a more fun match. <laughs> so the blue court's very similar in size. I think it's probably just a few inches different, but it plays very differently. The colors are different, but also the, um, the main wall is different. And it's, that's the big difference between the two courts is uh, the main wall uh, is a bit rougher and there's a bit more friction on the, uh, on, uh, will go on the ball and so when the ball hits the main wall and then the back wall it tends to centre, it tends to kick a fair bit and that is something that is not particularly easy for an away player. The great thing about the blue court though is uh, we've got great view uh, viewing facilities there. We can have about 100 people watching. Also with tournaments, we've had a tournament going on here today and it's meant that we can have so many more matches and a, and a much bigger draw than you can on a single court. So that's been, and, and the difference that of play of the two courts makes it a bit more exciting as well. Having two courts is great. Um, there's not many clubs in the country or in the world that have two courts. It means we have you know, a lot of court time for the members. We've got almost 300 members, so a lot of people wanting to play. One of the few clubs uh, in Cambridge which combines town and gown. One of the ways we enable students to play the game a lot is by having lots of senior members to help finance the club. The town people effectively uh, produce the income which make it possible for us to have professionals working here whilst the, the university students um, are the reason we actually have this facility. We as students pay much lower rate uh, for subscription so I think we pay £90 um, which is great and we don't pay any court fees so you can play any time of day or pretty much any time of day uh, as much as we like. So we have Case and Peter which are just amazing. They, they support us in playing better, motivate us in playing better but also making sure that we're okay and that we're enjoying it and sort of outside of the court they're also very good. Uh, I'm Arthur, I'm the men's captain for 2023-2024 um, and I've been in the club for what, two and a bit years now. My name's Stacey or Anastasia, um, I'm the women's captain for this year and I've been at the club since this time last year. It's really great because I mean 
A, you can get people from all walks of life and all sorts of experiences. Um, but also, it's just a bit more real because in a lot of student sports, kind of, it is quite enclosed. A lot of people have just said it's been nice to meet new people because um, everyone here at the club is so willing to have a chat and get to know people um, and just, I guess, run around. Just run around, get away from the classroom, get away from lectures, the library. Um, and everyone, whenever they come, they're all willing to give it their best shot and see where it takes them with no expectations, which is nice. You really do get a mix of, of senior members from all different uh, industries and careers. Um, you have students doing every possible type of degree and um, graduate research and then some academics as well, some medics, there's, there's all sorts of, of areas and fields of research. Um, but then you also have the junior membership which is the, the juniors under 18 um, and we have children from sort of nine or ten years old learning to play the game. So we have the Giraffe Club um, which is a group of people, ever-expanding group of people, who will pay an annual subscription and one-off donations to um, subsidise, essentially subsidise student tennis. Part of the year without a doubt is definitely varsity. Um, we go along to Lords, we get to eat dinner in the long run. It's a great opportunity and it's always nice to play and hopefully this year beat Oxford um, or the other place. We've got to beat Oxford. Um, <laughs> we, we, wouldn't be, we wouldn't be a Cambridge team if we didn't want to beat Oxford. Along with the inter-university tournament, which happens the weekend after, and that's students from all over the country. And we have sort of 90 students coming to play two different tournaments over the same three days. We host the inter-university cup, which is um, a fantastic event in that we have between eight and 10 universities coming and playing here. Um, it's super inclusive and really fits our remit um, um, of the Cambridge University Real Tennis Club. There's fixtures and matches every week. We have evening leagues where teams have dinner together afterwards. We have category tournaments. Um, during the week we have league matches, uh, doubles leagues, singles leagues, champagne leagues that's sponsored by Paul Roger. We have other clubs coming to visit or we will go and visit other clubs at the weekend. We have the East Anglia Pennant which involves the local clubs in this area. We have things like the Christmas Tournament which is just a bit of fun. Uh, some people come in fancy dress. So the junior programme here is absolutely thriving. We've got a couple of local schools who bring their students up from I think about age uh, 12, 13 and they come up for their weekly game sessions. So last year we had year seven students coming along and uh, this is an after school class. Uh, we had, uh, we gave uh, three form assemblies to three groups of 50 children and 25 came along to try the game. The next week, 12 came along. After that, six joined the club. This year's year two of that, um, that program and those year seven students who are now year eight students uh, we have five of those children who are still members of the club and are really improving. And then we have a group of, of pupils from different schools who come up independently of their schools who are members of the club and they both join in the junior sessions but then they'll also play against the, the student and senior members. Last year we, um, we had every year 10 and 11 student from Parkside School uh, doing a four-week course in real tennis. So it was run over the year and uh, we provided the opportunity for 240 uh, children to have that four-week um, course. Most importantly we were providing those children with an opportunity to play sport and provided, we as a club provided uh, a great op uh, an opportunity for a very diverse uh, group of um, children to have access to this sport and this club so um, that's something that we really should feel proud of as a club. So um, email the pros if you want to come and have a go. We're an incredibly welcoming club to people who've played a bit of racket sports of any kind before or never touched a racket in their life. We run free introductory lessons uh, for people and um, we do have a huge number of, um, of new people trying the game. We're good at that.
Um, so if you're visiting from another club or if you want to give it a go, just give us a call or send us an email on curtcpros at gmail.com. And actually, if you just want to come and watch a game and see what it's all about, um, just come and bang on the door and someone will let you in and, and enthusiastically tell you all about it.